there's a differentiation in the world as to how far through the cycle we are. Um, and that is dictating the activities of capital in, in the market um, all over the world, but also in Europe. So I think this, we're seeing even within the same house a variety of strategies. There's quite a lot of money going into core products, pan-European open-ended core products. So that's money that I view as banked for the, for the future, defensive capital that will get through whatever's coming next, if it's a recession or whatever, but the bumps in the road that are coming next. We also see sometimes in the same house, capital put to one side going into value add products. So I think we've entered the part of the cycle where sensible value add investing can still get um, some pretty strong returns. Um, and it's really a judgment for the investors as to how far up that risk scale they go. Uh, if they go into development, you know, which is as far as you can go in a way, um, or whether they stick with the sort of buy, fix, sell strategies that a lot of managers are, are uh, offering. So we, as a business, we're spending most of our time either working with clients who are doing that long-term product um, production, um, the sort of bank, as I called it, um, or the value add, very specific um, sector focused um, and uh, quite relatively high risk, sort of medium high risk um, focus. The, I guess the difference we're beginning to hear, and a lot of this is coming from American capital looking at Europe, is that they have got one eye on um, the defensive uh, strategies for the future or the defensive elements of the strategies they're looking at. So you would hear an investor in the States say, I'd rather have a, a safe, uh, partly income driven 12 return rather than a 15 that uh, is, is less defensive, less conservative. So th there's more of that. We've entered the, type, the part of the market where there's more of that conservatism feeding through into what investors are thinking.